Hi, this is Darren from Acquire Warrants, here to share with you the market action we saw this month and what Warren investors can look out for in the next two weeks. This month, drama revolved around tech stocks following US President Trump's executive order to ban US transactions with the parent companies of TikTok and WeChat, leading Chinese stocks listed on the Hong Kong index to take a beating in the stock prices. The share prices, however, quickly headed northwards as sentiments reversed after these Chinese tech firms announced earnings results that exceeded analysts' expectations. In today's video, the spotlight will be on Alibaba and Xiaomi, which are set to join the benchmark Hang Seng Index as index constituents on 7 September 2020. While both firms' weighting on the index is kept at 5% each, the addition of these tech giants shows the Hong Kong index's shift from traditional industries to new economy and biotech firms. Alibaba's share price reflected the previous narrative mentioned, with the share price rallying 25% in the first six trading days of July. Trading volume reached its highest since November 2019 IPO days on 9 July, when the stock touched a new record trading price of 261 Hong Kong dollars. On the back of that move, Alibaba call warrants rallied 332%, moving 13 times more than Alibaba's shares in Hong Kong. The reason you see a much larger magnified percentage price move in the warrants compared to Alibaba shares is due to the gearing effect. Warrants also allow investors to take a bearish position when they feel share prices might pull back from a recent high in the short term. So, what are call warrants? Call warrants move in line with the underlying they follow, meaning if the underlying stock or index went up, so would the call warrants. Put warrants move inversely from the underlying and will increase in price when the underlying stock or index falls. While Hong Kong shares such as Alibaba are listed on the Hong Kong exchange are traded in Hong Kong dollars, the warrants tracking these names are listed on the SGX are traded in Singapore dollars. In this case, when Alibaba shares were trading at 209 Hong Kong dollars at the end of June just before news of its part to own and financials IPO intentions, investors could have bought the Alibaba call warrants priced at a mere 3.1 cents to leverage on potential rally due to end financials news. When Alibaba shares rallied 25% to 261 Hong Kong dollars, the same Alibaba warrant was priced at 13.4 cents, a 332% increase in the warrant price. In the case of Xiaomi, news of its record sales from the debut of its Mi 10 Ultra smartphone and Redmi G, combined with its index constitution inclusion in Hang Seng Index, sent its share price 42% higher over the month from the start of July to August. Xiaomi is finally trading above its IPO listing price of 17 Hong Kong dollars after a two-year effort. Over the same period, Xiaomi call runs went from 1.1 cents to closing at 11 cents on Friday, a whopping 900% return. Put warrants, which declined on share price increases on the other hand, were down from 3.2 cents to 0.1 cents on Friday, a 97% loss. So how do you know how much more warrant will move given move in the underlying price in the short term? For that, investors can refer to the effective gearing level as an indication. Say if a warrant had an effective gearing of 10 times, it means the warrant will move around 10% for every 1% move in the underlying share or index attracts. The gearing effect is one of the reasons that make warrants popular, but notes that gearing can work both ways, meaning warrants will also move in a bigger magnitude or percentage change than a percentage change move in the underlying should you get your view wrong. So, where and how do you treat structured warrants by Macquarie? Start by visiting warrants.com.sg to select a Macquarie warrant over your preferred underline with the free tools provided. Write down the warrants 4-digit warrant code and log into your brokerage account. You can click into your account login pages via a shortcut on the website. This will be the same account that you use to trade shares. When you are logged into your shares trading platform, simply key in the 4-digit warrant code in the search bar to execute buy or sell trades in the warrant, just like how you trade shares. I hope you've enjoyed this month's market commentary. Investors who are specified investment products qualified can trade warrants via their online trading account, the same way they would trade shares. For further details on trading warrants, and to find out if you're qualified to trade warrants, click on the link in the description or feel free to contact us at our warrant hotline. Lastly, don't miss out on the next video and exciting warrant news by subscribing to our channels on YouTube, Telegram, and Facebook.